everybody and welcome to my garage. This is episode seven in the reflooring project. And in this episode, I'm gonna show you how to install flooring in and around doorways. So how to undercut the jams um, and prep the cuts so that they uh, fit as clean as possible in and around doorway openings. Enjoy. So sorry, I accidentally hit pause on the camera when I switched hands. So I was saying that when you undercut, here, the idea is, is that you don't want flooring to, to show like, or a gap in the flooring to show like what's against the drywall here, which that will be covered up with baseboard. You can't put base, baseboard down here, so you have to undercut, which means cut up the um, door jam so that the flooring could go underneath it. So let's go back over to my problem over here. So the problem here is I could undercut one side and slide the flooring underneath it. But to do that, I can't undercut this side because I can't slide the same piece of flooring two different directions to get underneath the trim. So I'm thinking about how I'm going to handle this still, but I think what I'm going to do is have to measure very carefully. I'm going to undercut one side and measure so that the other side goes flush against the door jam. Um, so I won't undercut one side. I'll just lay it up against it and then, you know, caulk it or something to get the edge finished. Honestly, I don't have any other way I think I could do this. So it's going to be a little bit of experimenting. I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Okay, so how do you undercut or what is undercutting? So like I mentioned, you want to cut the door trim, the door... Um, jam so that the, the flooring could go under it. This is loose. It's not nailed on very well by the builder. Um, and I decided I'm going to undercut both. And hopefully I'll be able to wiggle it in or force it in. Because this does move a little bit, I might be able to, to uh, force the flooring in and still get it with a nice finish. Um, we'll see. But to figure out where to undercut, you want to put a piece of spare flooring up and make a line where the flooring height is and then we will cut out the uh, wood on that line so that um, the flooring could fit underneath it. So I'm going to do both sides. You can't really see this right now but do the other side as well. So what do you use to do the undercutting? They make this handy dandy saw that has a sideways handle that you could use to uh, manually cut it. And what's nice about this saw is that it has a mechanism that flips it around. So depending if you have to do a left cut or a right cut, it makes it a little bit easier for you to you know, fit in and do that. Or I tend to use this electric little handy tool. The brand I use is Rockwell but um, it's just got a little saw attachment and you know sometimes it goes quicker to just use the electric saw. I'll, I'll start this manually and see how it goes but if um, because this door jam is a little loose there might be a little too much pull with the manual saw so I may switch to the automatic one. Let's see what happens. There's, there's, there's too much wiggle room here, so I'm going to plug in plug in the electric saw. It's going to get loud, but I'll let you see how it works. And I'm going to warn you that usually when I use this tool, the dogs start howling. So not only will you hear a loud saw, but you'll probably hear my dogs barking and howling in the background. And... Um, if it gets too loud when I do the post editing here, I'll just put some nice soft piano music on or something while you watch this. So here's, here's how it goes.
So the saw doesn't get through the jam all the way. So sometimes I might just have to get a screwdriver in here and a chisel and knock it out a little bit. So you can see it'll start breaking, breaking apart. And you just cut that, get this piece out. So now I'll clean this out a little bit better before I put the wood in, but the idea is that the wood will fit underneath the jam now. See, and you won't hit, you won't see a raw open cut of the the flooring. So you know it's up a little bit, and I'll caulk that when it's done just to fill in that gap. But um, that's how you undercut. So I'll clean it up a little bit so the the board can go all the way underneath, and then I'll do the same thing on the other side. So here's the crazy piece I had to cut to go through this doorway. Actually, it goes this way. And I haven't tried fitting it yet, so this is on live. This is gonna have to go in. Oh no, I might have to take the door. So let me try going the other way first. Because the door is also in the way. Uh, I might have to take the door off. I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to take the door off because I can't get it to slide in. And look at I don't know if you could see this on camera, but look at this terrible look at this trim. I never even noticed it. It's all rough. It's like they patched it and didn't finish painting it correctly. It's horrible. I don't know if you could see that. Yeah, there it is. Look at that. So I'm gonna be sanding that before I repaint everything. Anyway, I'm gonna take the door off so that I could get this to slide underneath it better. And we'll see if I could get this in without having to recut it. To be continued. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And for now, the garage is closed.